Welcome back to Keep It Quick, I'm Jax, and today we'll be covering secondary storage. Our first type of storage is magnetic storage, which uses a magnetic field to magnetise tiny individual sections of the metal spinning disc. This is mainly used in modern computers as you get more gigabytes of storage for a cheaper price. This type of storage is used in hard drive disks and even floppy disks. Our next type of secondary storage is optical storage, which uses lasers to burn data onto reflective disks. These are used for CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray. These can be bought for pennies and are very portable. Our final type of storage is flash memory, which we briefly covered in our RAM vs ROM video. This uses electricity to open and close gates on a circuit board. This is very fast and portable, because it's used in things such as USB sticks and SD cards. And because they have no moving parts, they are very reliable. One thing to mention is that, in the GCSE computer science test, you might be asked to compare types of storage for a person. The things you need to consider when comparing is the capacity, which is how much data it can store, the access speed, which is how fast a device can read and write, the portability, which is how easily the storage can be carried around, the durability, which is how hard or how easy it is to damage, and then reliability, which is how long before it starts to break. As always, go to learncomputing.org for more information. The link will be in the description.